All right, so I'm going to put my uh, dough on the counter here, and I'm just going to throw some flour on there. Now, normally when I video this, I would do it from above, so it would you would have a direct above view, but my clip-on phone holder that it's long and it adjusts and everything, well, it broke. <laughs> so I can't clip it on and do the above from the above view anymore until I get another one. So, all right, so we're gonna do this view for now. All right. So my kneading pin uh, did not come out with the bread, the dough, so that's good. I don't have to go in there and look for it. So this dough is, it feels wonderful, honestly. Um, you want it, you don't want it too dry and you don't want it too wet. It's not sticking to my hands, but I could tell it's wet. So there's nothing sticking to my hands. So that's good. So that part came out good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and knead this a little bit. Just take the corners, just knead it up like that. Um, I'm going to try to put a couple of raisins in there right now while I'm kneading it. And then when I roll it out and roll it back up, I'll put some raisins there too. Now, the original recipe, like I told you, I cut it in half. So I would only be putting a half a cup of raisins in here. Because I think she, she put a whole cup. Um, so we'll see how many raisins. Because we like raisins in our bread. So hopefully this, I probably shouldn't have done that because I have to roll this out. <laughs> that's okay. Well, that's okay. If, if if we would have put them in while they were in the bread machine, they would have been there in there too. So in there, in there too. That did not make sense. So I made this uh, cinnamon brown sugar mix. This is a uh, quarter cup brown sugar, teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, just gonna throw some more flour on here. And we're gonna roll this out. I'm going to try to get it to a rectangular shape. And try to get it possibly as thin as I can. Because I'm going to, again, have to roll it back up. So I'm going to finish rolling this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so... Got it rolled out as best as I could there. Now I'm just going to take some butter and spread it out. Softened butter. Uh, you can melt it. Now I've seen where there have been different suggestions as to smearing butter, spreading butter, or an egg white. So drop it down in the so drop it down in the comments um, if you use butter or egg white. I've seen both. So I'm going with butter. All right. So now we're just going to put our, our mix on there. <laughs> makes it easy, huh? Just spread it. So I wonder if I got enough raisins in the dough there. So what I'll have to do is just, uh, because I was waiting all the long, waiting, <laughs> waiting for that beep, because I wanted to record it for you. So I had the camera ready to go, and every time the camera shut off, I just turn it back on, waiting for that beep. And then I finally realized that, uh, 
<laughs> about 15 minutes left. It ain't going to beep. <laughs> so that's okay. All right. I wonder if I should throw some more raisins. I think I got enough raisins in there. So now I'm just going to roll it up. And this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. Actually, I did it when I made cinnamon rolls. That's right. So I'm just going to roll this all up. And that's where the swirl of the cinnamon is going to come in. Okay. Now, um, my loaf pan is 9 by 5 So what she did with the ends was just tuck them in a little bit. And the opening here, she just pinched it closed. If you have any suggestions on what you do that might work better for me, let me know in the comments, please. I learn from you guys. Okay, so if I turn it back around, got this side tucked in. I'm going to tuck in this side. And I get it might not be a perfect loaf, but it looks good, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to get my loaf pan. Again, I have a 9 by 5 You might have a bigger or smaller one. I'm not sure what size is. So I'm just going to throw it in there. Ooh. And I'm going to cover this and let it rise. I think I'll let it sit for an hour. She, she did 30 minutes. Maybe I'll just go an hour because we're going to eat lunch too. I'm making BLTs like I said. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover this and we'll be back in an hour. All right, everyone, so here is my BLT, my lunch, and some sour cream and onion Pringles. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy lunch, and by the time I'm done, it should be time to uh, get the dough in the oven. And yeah, we'll get that baked up. And I got to get this phone on the charger because I have had it going all morning long, and it is almost dead. So stay tuned, and I'm going to enjoy lunch. All right, everyone, so this is ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated to 350, and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes. Now, I let it rise uh, much longer than in the video that I watched. They uh, She let it rise for 30 minutes, and she didn't get much of a rise, so I figured I'll let it go longer because I really wanted to see that rise. <laughs> It, when it rises, it tells me I did something right. So, <laughs> so it did. I could see it rose more than what it was at thirty minutes. So, it's been rising for an hour and forty minutes. So, yeah, we ate lunch. It was delicious, and yeah, I just cleaned up that a little bit. And I'm gonna get this in the oven thirty minutes. Then I'm gonna add the lima beans and mixed vegetables to the stew, and yeah, we'll be good to go. So getting this in the oven all right everyone so the bread is done and you can hear that so yeah it's funny how it's uh wide here and then it just kind of goes narrow there but that's okay uh we're gonna eat it regardless and what i think i'm gonna do is make a white icing for this so i can lather it all over the top here and we usually eat cinnamon raisin bread with butter on it with our beef stew but we can also it with the icing on it have coffee and eat it as a dessert or a morning piece of bread or whatever so I'm going to give it a, a, about 10 minutes or so to cool off and then I'll put it on a on a sheet of some sort so I can make an icing for it all right everyone so the raisin bread is cooled off enough now where I'm going to go ahead and make my white icing. Um, I'm going to make a white icing, not a translucent color. So I don't want a clear icing. I want a white icing. So therefore, I'm going to use clear vanilla. So this will not change the color. It'll leave it white. So if you use the brown vanilla, it'll change the color to where it looks more clear, translucent. So we're gonna go ahead and make white icing. 
So I've got some powdered sugar. I'm going to start off with a cup. This is a one third measuring cup. So that's a cup. Uh, yeah, I'll start there. And if I need more, I'll just make more. So I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Again, you don't want to put too much in right away because you'll just have to keep adding stuff. And, and then I have my clear vanilla here. I think I got this at Walmart. I think. <laughs> I don't know if I got it at Walmart or I ordered it off Amazon. So you can see the vanilla is just clear. And you just want to mix it until you get the texture you want. Mix it, add stuff as you want. Right now it looks a little, actually it looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little thick. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up till I get the texture I want. And then we'll uh, drizzle it over the cinnamon raisin bread. Alright, so I have my cinnamon raisin bread here. And I, it's on parchment paper, which is just on a cookie sheet. That way, when I uh, drizzle the frosting, it's going to run down to the parchment paper and minimize my cleanup. So I'm going to just, you can see the frosting is white. And I want to cover the entire top. All right, so I'm just taking all of this that is dripped down to the parchment paper and brushing it all over the sides. I'm going to brush all this out of here. What I'm going to do is get a spoon and just <laughs> drip it onto the bread here so that way none of the icing gets wasted. I'm sure some will uh, roll down again, but you know, it is six o'clock already here. I got up uh, fairly early, got started early on the stew and the bread <laughs> thinking I'm just going to be able to sit down the rest of the day. No. Well, I just got done editing and uh, uploading today's video, which would be the by the time you see this video, it'll already be, you have already seen that one. That would have been the monthly food pantry haul and the Aldi haul. So I just got done, well, I was waiting for this to cool off. I got done editing that one and getting it exported and uploaded. All right. Trying to use as much as this frosting as I can. All right, I think I'm going to leave it right there. Let it dry up. Can't wait to dig into this. All right, so stay tuned when the stew and the bread are ready to be eaten. All right, everyone, so we're getting ready to eat, but I just wanted to quickly show you the inside of the cinnamon raisin bread, and we tasted it earlier, and it we both thought it came out so good, much better texture on the bread. Uh, you can see that it, it separates there, but that's okay. Um, looks like the raisins came out more in the middle of the bread, but it is really good. So this is a keeper recipe. And I'm not going to take too much more video because I'm in the room with Glenn and we're going to watch a movie. We're going to finish watching a movie while we're eating. So 
I'm not going to spend too much more time on the camera here. But I just wanted to show you that. And we're going to have our stew with it. So definitely delicious on this recipe. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.